This is a short video on using a knee scooter and adjusting it. Um, it's relatively simple. Um, knee scooters, of course, are used for ankle injuries or surgeries uh, where they're going to either be wearing a, a cast or a boot. Um, the top of the knee scooter, the cushions are separate, and right here is where you would put the, the head of your boot, or if you have a pump, you'd want to put that right there. So you're not, you don't have that pressure on your shin the entire time. The back of the, our knee scooters, we use the one, the Roscoe, they have disc brakes inside here, so better than the ones that press against the wheel, as if the wheels get wet, they won't stop. On the, the bottom, underneath, this is where you're gonna adjust the height. The way you adjust the height, there are two adjustments. One is a pin, which you remove the pin, and you're going to put it to the correct height that you desire. Now the height is gonna be based on the shoulders. You wanna make sure when the person is kneeling on the scooter with their shoe on, um, whatever they're normally gonna wear, that their, uh, their shoulders are even, so that they're not leaning to either side, and which would put pressure on your back. Now to lock the pin, you put the pin in place and you're gonna slide this, this is a retainer just to hold the pin in. These are like bicycles. You to turn this knob to get it tight and then you cinch it with the little, A lever. Now on the front, these are steerable. You want to make sure that you have enough slack in your cable to turn the corner without locking the brakes. The brakes are actually able to lock by pushing down on the brake handle. You lock the black back brakes. So if I'm rolling this, it's not going to move. It can still slide on gravel or something, but it's going to lock the brakes. You would use that in a parking lot, get in and out of the car and such just so you don't um, have the, to chase the scooter down the parking lot. And right here, this releases the lock, and then you use the brakes when you're riding. You always wanna go up or down a hill using the brakes, lean back going down a hill, lean forward going up a hill. And if you're going sideways on a hill this way, just don't do that. Uh, you never wanna go sideways on a hill because you're, you're top heavy, you're high centered, uh, your center of gravity is high and you'll fall over. Now to fold it up and put it in your car, yet the front of the knee scooter is the basket. You remove the basket off the little retaining clips there. And on the bottom is the latch. You flip it up again, just like a bicycle. To tighten this, you just turn it. You turn it clockwise, it makes it tighter. And then when you push it down, it's gonna be snug. So you want to make sure you keep that nice and tight. Now you have to put your hand in this way. You're going to put your index finger here and your thumb here. And when you push it, it'll drop down. You just give it a shove. And all you see, this is all it does. It's just a little lever. So when you go to lift it up, you want to be careful to ensure that you don't Get your finger caught in there always make sure your thumb is on the outside of the housing and then you put simply lift this up and push it forward and push it down and this will tighten it that's pretty much all to it and um, just be careful uh, with the, with braking on gravel on wet surfaces ice uh, etc the wheels are 8-inch wheels, but they can get stuck. If you have any questions, feel free to call us at Hellstar at 720-851-7028 here in Colorado. Um, we only service Colorado, but uh, you're free to rent or purchase. If you have any questions, it's up to a 300-pound, I think it's 350, yeah, 350 pound capacity for the weight. Uh, there's also an instruction booklet that covers the safety. Uh, thank you very much.